triple shooter at the mansion in Glen Cove. Fair Alabama. use. 26 year old Remy Marshall, ABC, also New, known as New York. Fetty Luciano, turned himself in today. The Fucking idiot, bro. The cops say a security guard tried to break up a fight at a pool party. That's when she was pool. Out, Living good. Hitting the security guard and two other people. All three were treated for non life threatening injuries. Marshall now faces attempted murder and weapons charge. Yo, it's just showing how people are just on fucking demon time, bro. The nigga fair use ABC seven. The nigga, sh the nigga shot up a party, bro. Shot the security guard to other people with like non life threatening injuries. But nigga, your brother, this is Luciani Fetty Luciano. He's a rapper. He's down with Smurda Gang. Excuse me. You telling me you decide to shoot up a fucking party? Obviously, you know, niggas don't learn from their fucking mistakes from fucking Sean Poe and all that. When he shot up a motherfucking goddamn um, Club New York with fucking Diddy. Like, doggy, you, you, your brother's out. Rowdy Rebel's out. Y'all niggas was making music. Don't even go to functions like that if you're not even going to function correctly like a human being, bro. You're a rapper. Like, how disrespectful can niggas be to you? Yo, you shouldn't be hanging in those areas. You can't save your life by having white friends, bro. Because it's stupidity, B. It's just stupidity. Have white friends, B. Because niggas only make you... Uh, uh, niggas just make you act crazy, bro. You shouldn't have to do that, man. It's crazy. This is another scene going on. Like, check this shit out. How, how demon time this whole city's on right now. Fair use CBS News. This is what I'm saying. Niggas is on demon time, bro. You got to watch your back. You can't be in certain areas no more. This shit is crazy. Live your life, B, but keep your head on the swivel. PD is searching for two suspects in two separate subway assaults Get on women. Savages. The most recent happened yesterday, just before 6 Addiction in the morning. Addiction Ascension Police Podcast. Police year old woman was walking inside the Carroll Street subway Look station. This weirdo. Brooklyn, Look right up at the camera. When the suspect approached her from behind and groped her. They say he then covered her mouth to stop her from screaming. After a struggle, the woman was able to break free and yell for help as the suspect ran away. Police also looking for a man accused of assaulting a woman at a station in Lower Manhattan. This nigga with a hoodie on in a train station. PM. You know he's crazy. The one year old woman was walking on the platform at the Brooklyn Bridge City Hall station when she told police the stranger, who you see there sitting on the bench, reached out and forcibly touched her. Fearing for her safety, that woman ran out of the subway station. Says she ran out of the subway station, bro. This shit is fucking crazy. Shit is crazy, bro. It's showing you situations that people are putting themselves in or subject to being in because there's too many fucking savages around here, bro. Fetty Luciano, what are you doing shooting up a party, bro? These two guys, what are y'all doing two, roping two women in the train stations in Brooklyn? Y'all niggas is fucking crazy, B. What is going on with y'all? This whole city has a demon over it, bro. And how these niggas is losing their fucking mind. And any nigga walking around with a fucking hoodie on in a train station is burning up down the stairs, nigga. It's 100 upstairs. On the surface, nigga, underground is at least 250 degrees downstairs, nigga. You be waiting for that train to come in and to give you that good old cold AC air, nigga, from a, a New York City train station. This shit is insane, B. But I'm going to show you another video on how they, they're trying to charge it. They, they actually, teen girl charged in Jane Lambert's murder gave a 10-year-old the phone to record this shit. What were they doing, B? Where y'all fucking parents at? Why the fuck are y'all outside? This late at night. It's insane, B. It's insane. I don't understand how these little niggas are able to go outside. Because, nigga, I had a fucking curfew. My curfew wasn't lifted till I was about maybe 17. And that's because I was turning 18. I still had a curfew to be in the house by fucking 11 or midnight. If I was lucky, it was midnight. 11 is dead ass. You got to be your ass in the house. Check out this clip, B of an elderly man in North Philadelphia. Sources tell Eyewitness News one of the teenagers beat up an elderly guy, phone bro. to record the deadly attack with a traffic cone. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo is at police headquarters with what he's learned tonight. Matt? 
FAU CBS3 Philly. Working to figure out a big question. Does that cell phone contain more evidence of the attack? Well, the attorney for the 10-year-old boy who was seen in security video holding that phone during the incident says she is not sure what is in the phone, but she is certain it does not belong to her client. The 10-year-old was very truthful and forthcoming. Attorney Rania Major identified her 10-year-old client in this now infamous security video as the small boy in a white t-shirt holding a cell phone and appearing to record the June 24th attack. The boy's attorney says the phone is not his. He's 10 he's years okay. old, bro. Kind of what is he doing outside? IMS News has learned the phone belongs to 14-year-old Jamara Mosley, according to her attorney, Lottie Fish. Any idea why the 10-year-old boy would have your client? But you see how they're trying to put it on a 10-year-old boy and not the girl that was throwing the fucking cone? You got you to gotta read between the lines, B. They're trying to demonize little boys at a young age, and it was actually the fucking girl that was on Demon Time. This is crazy. Well, I, I wasn't there. What we do know is Mosley turned herself into police Wednesday and is now charged with third degree murder. Her attorney tells us he's not sure if her phone had actually recorded the incident. They only showing a little boy with the phone. I don't know if it's in there because I couldn't get into it myself. Watch the security video again, and you can see as the 10 year old holds the phone, Mosley appears to touch the screen before she then grabs the traffic cone and throws it at the victim for the first time. Does she actually press the record button? I, I don't know what she did on the video. Meantime, the 10 year old boy's attorney insists just before the attack, he was given the phone and told to record it. What are they After doing the outside, bro? Time, the cone strikes the victim. The 10-year-old is seen rushing towards the victim. The 10-year-old's attorney also says he then tried to call 911. One attempt um, that, for some reason, the call didn't go through. And that 10-year-old boy is not facing charges. We also learned, though, he helped police identify his 14-year-old brother, Richard Jones. In that security video, Jones now faces third-degree homicide. Reporting live outside from the police headquarters, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3. I... Prediction Central Podcast, hate me and love me, there's no in between. So you see in the video how everybody's on demon time, bro. Uh, Fetty Luciano. Two fucking savages in a train station. Now you got a 10 year old holding a fucking video camera filming a older gentleman get beat with a comb by a bunch of young, slow savages in fucking Philly. What is a 14 year old being charged with third degree murder for? What is a 10 year old doing outside filming? Where are y'all niggas' parents at, bro? How do y'all niggas don't even have curfew? It's insane, B. That's why niggas always say you can't get mad at the Honorable Louis Farrakhan. When they say we're not ready for war, because the enemy is teaching their, their kids a certain way, a tactic on how to kill precisely with no repercussions. But we teaching our kids TikTok and twerking and shit and how to uh, do stupid shit. Let me show you a video of a 10 year old that's putting in work, bro, and he's going to do damage. During war. Go. Shot. Shot. Safety. Down. Safety. Shot. Shot. Safety. Holster at the same time you're picking up. Function check. If you can't tell me that certain kids is ready for war and other kids is just wanting likes. You are part of the fucking problem, bro. And I see it every fucking minute when I'm watching these vids. Sh shooting comp competitions with family members. Shooting competitions. Uh, fucking eight-year-old champions for running through a course and shooting shooting up targets and shit like that. And you, you motherfuckers are just teaching kids to fucking go outside and be savages. 14-year-old charged with third-degree murder, murder, a 13-year-old charged with third-degree murder. Where are the fucking parents at, bro? We are fucked up. We ain't ready for war, bro. But Prediction Central Podcast, man, hate me or love me, there's no in between. I'm back in action, doing what I do best. PredictionCentral at gmail.com. 
like, comment, subscribe. Do me the favor, help out the algorithm. And let me know, is there a spiritual warfare? Or are we just too unwoke to realize?